In today's episode, we dive into the flavorful world of reggae reggae sauce and uncover the inspiring journey of its creator, Levi Roots. Levi's story begins in Clarendon, Jamaica, in 1958. As a young boy, Levi helped his grandmother in the kitchen. She taught him the secrets and subtleties of mixing Caribbean flavors, herbs and spices. During this time, Levi also discovered his love for music at the church his grandmother sung at. While Levi lived with his grandparents in Jamaica, his parents were in Brixton, working hard so that Levi and his five older siblings could move to England. Every year, one of Levi's siblings would emigrate, from the eldest to the youngest. Eventually, it was Levi's turn to leave Jamaica. In the 70s, Levi regularly went to the Notting Hill Carnival. The Notting Hill Carnival is an annual Caribbean festival event that has taken place in London since 1966. It is led by members of the British Caribbean community and attracts around two and a half million people each year, making it one of the world's largest street festivals. It is considered a significant event in British Caribbean culture. Little did Levi know that he would later have his own stall at the festival selling the sauce that would make him his fortune. At 1991's Notting Hill Carnival, Levi created a fusion between the food he was cooking and the music he was playing, opening the restaurant, which was so popular it is now an annual fixture at the carnival. Despite the sauce's popularity, it took another 16 years of rejection from banks and businesses to invest in the product. For years, Levi made the sauce from his kitchen in Brixton with the help of his seven children, selling his overwhelmingly popular sauce out of a bag on his back. In 2006, Levi was spotted at the World Food Market by a BBC researcher and was invited to appear on Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den is a British TV show presented by Evan Davis and based upon the original Japanese series, Money Tigers. These shows allow several entrepreneurs an opportunity to present their business ideas to a panel of five investors and pitch for financial aid. Although he was doubtful about the program, Levi's mother encouraged him to come back as a dragon slayer. Levi put his faith in reggae reggae sauce to win over the dragons. Levi took a leap of faith and appeared on the show. With his vibrant personality, iconic song, and of course a bottle of reggae reggae sauce in hand, Levi pitched his business idea to the formidable panel of investors. Levi's pitch captivated the dragons as he shared the story behind his sauce and the rich cultural heritage it represented. The panel was not only impressed by the taste, but also recognized the potential for the sauce. Peter Jones and Richard Farley were particularly intrigued by the unique blend of flavors and saw the business potential in Levi's brand. With the support and investment from the Dragons, reggae reggae sauce quickly gained nationwide attention. Levi's catchy jingle became an earworm that resonated with people across the UK. The sauce's popularity soared and it found its way onto supermarket shelves. Beyond its commercial success, reggae reggae sauce became a symbol of multiculturalism and the power of following one's passion. Levi Roots, now a household name, used his platform to inspire others and encourage entrepreneurship in diverse communities. That concludes our journey into the captivating story of Levi Roots and his famous sauce. From humble beginnings to the Dragon's Den, this iconic sauce has left a flavorful mark on the culinary world. Join us next time as we uncover more tales behind beloved products that have become part of our everyday lives. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories.